starting with the next topic that is the toluidin blue staining so this stain it is a metachromatic vital dye of thysin group metachromatic because it stains a different color to the target cells so it helps in the visual detection of the precancerous and the cancerous lesion and this is a nuclear stain because it has the dna binding ability it also stains squamous cell carcinoma at the earliest stages when even the patient is asymptomatic it also stains active inflammatory lesions and it is used as a complementary with brush biopsy now how exactly it work so it is working on the acid base reaction where this dye it is a acidophilic dye and it will go and bind to certain basic components like mast cells now malignant cells they contain abundance of nucleic acid and as we have said that this dye it is a nuclear dye so because of that it will go and bind to such cells also actively growing tissue it contains high number of mucopolysaccharides staining such cells lastly it also bind to negatively charged mitochondrial membrane now what is the composition so 100 ml of 1% toluidin blue it consists of 1 g of toluidin blue powder 10 ml of 1% acetic acid 4.19 ml of absolute alcohol and 86 ml of distilled water now what is the procedure so first you are going to ask the patient to rinse with water for 20 seconds to remove whatever the debris is then you are going to ask them to rinse with 1% acetic acid then is the main rinse with 5 ml of 1% toluidin blue solution again you are going to ask them to rinse with 1% acetic acid to remove mechanically retained stains and final rinse is again with normal water now what are the pros and cons so first is it will be helpful in the early detection of any lesion and by that we can treat the lesion at the earliest next is it can help us in confirming whether that tissue is at risk of malignancy and lastly it also helps us to determine or decide where the margins of the biopsy is now what are the cons so cons in this is it can mechanically retain to various tissues like filiform papillae ulceration and because of that it can give us false positive so that was all about it thank you so much